we're remodeling before we even finish. That was easy. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. This is demolition day. So oh, easy. Too easy. So we're tying it up the same way we did before. We think this is the best way of doing it. And uh, I'm always nervous about the metal. So I've cut a lot of metal this time. And they're individually wrapped. Yeah. So that we can get the nice flame through here. Because that was one of the hardest things at the first hand. Because doing it with the machete does work. But then you got to get real close. I'm trying to keep my eyebrows. So this wood we purchased. Uh, we ordered nine feet, I believe. But I don't know if they do it in America. We've never got wood from America before. But this wood is uh, nine feet and some change. So some of them are nine feet and five inches. Some of them are nine feet and three inches. We had one that was eight feet, like 10 inches or 11 yeah. inches. So it was, it was a give and take. At least none of the other ones are short so far. So. So we figure that the three, the, the third one in the middle is necessary so it doesn't bow out and that yeah. seemed to work. So this is the first time we're going to try it after what we did in the last video. I think the only problem is that one, even though it makes gaps great on all the other ones, the last one, they don't make that gap, you see? Mm -hmm. Like they're right on top of each other, which forces me to still have to try to use the machete. Put this so that the flame, in case if I, if I put it under the flame, can hit it and go up okay so that it has a backing okay because that that one was pushing the board too much out too Good thing to, to use to drive up the flame. Wait to see the flame, I see some. Do you think that'll get everything else on fire though? I'm hoping. This board is if you can kind of see it on the camera, it's a little redder, so we think it has a lot of sap. And there was a lot of sap fluids going down. So it was the only one on, but it seems to have yeah, I think it did. to have starting. You can see here all the sap. There we go. All right, it's up already. Time to get all those little spots. sides everything looks good The bad thing is always having to move this in and out, in and out, in and out. But it's not the worst thing, right? No. No? What would be the worst thing then? Yeah? What's the worst thing? I don't know. Today I got kind of nervous of those flames coming on my face when you dropped it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like stopped for a second like, am I getting too close? Don't let it 
Look at what we look <laughs> At least he uses his paw. <laughs> so we ripped off this board because it was it was just way too warped. Nothing happened here. Can I can shoot this side first. Here it is. New wall. Now it is lower because here we have the columns and the cypress beam. So on the other side is above the cypress beam. So they're going to be not matching, but it's okay. We're okay with that. Did I get it? Did I miss it? What? What? Aren't there like a bunch of blockings here? Yeah, so there's one right here. This is the bottom of this block. Okay, so... So the other one is the blocking... This should be the top of this. Though. Yeah. The one all the way down there should be at the top of this. Yes. They look fine. They're a little bit bent. Rather than it being like super warped. Looking great. So we're done for today it's time to shower go to work as usual we did a lot today though for for one day but we got this stuff at the market and these are some loofahs all right i think i got all the seats so we'll give it a try nice so what we're going to do is from here to the window is 24 and a half 24 inches and a half so about two feet and all of our boards are roughly 12 inches one thing i did find out was that you're not supposed to at least from somebody you're not supposed to have a seam bump up with the edge of the window i'm not exactly sure why so what we're going to do is we're going to cut two boards uh to 10 inches so that the last so the third board can overlap quite a bit if you guys know like what would be the better situation just like have the two and then put the seam or have or cut the other two like what we're going to do whichever one's better please let us know because it was a little bit hard to kind of find that information Okay, the top is not... You got it? Yeah. Just say go a little bit higher, right? Good? Yeah, everything is good. So yeah, what's really making damage is the teeth of the gun. It looks good, I just gotta do the top. But, uh, looks good. So you can kind of tell they're, they're thinner, but it looks okay. And we're gonna have to do the same thing over there because we can't just again we don't know so if somebody please knows let us know if we can just put a board there and and have seam to seam but we may have to do it there that looks good most likely not a good thing but i don't know if we've shown you that uh you have a dog that's addicted to the sun. It's hot, but that's what he loves. <laughs> 